Are we on? I think we're on. Hey everyone, this is Andy with Coeur d'Alene Clothing Company. I hope you guys are doing great. I wanted to throw together a little video that maybe gives some of you guys ideas. If you're in Coeur d'Alene for a few hours on a cold, dark winter morning, what do you do? You wanna get out and see some things, what can you go do? So I, I put together this little video showing you what I did this morning. Maybe it gives you guys some ideas. Uh, so let's begin. Please keep in mind as you're watching this video that I am a professional Coeur d'Alenean. Uh, so please stay safe out there. It's winter. We got ice, it's cold, all those things. So please, whatever you do, please be safe. Don't do anything you're not comfortable with. Uh, keep that in mind as we're watching this video. So I begin my morning at Evans Brothers Coffee, which is located on Sherman Avenue and Fifth Street in downtown Coeur d'Alene, just a couple blocks up from our clothing store. Evans Brothers Coffee makes probably the best mocha in town, and that's what I wanted with me as I begin my drive around Coeur d'Alene Lake this morning. So I'm going to go on a drive around the lake this morning to go see the eagles, which come from all over the place this time of year uh, to feast on the, the spawning salmon, the dead and dying salmon that are in the lake that show up this time of year. So to get to my favorite place to watch the Eagles, we're gonna go up Sherman Avenue all the way up until we hit Coeur d'Alene Lakeview Drive. And then we're gonna go east. We're gonna take a right on Coeur d'Alene Lakeview Drive. And we're gonna follow that all the way to the end. It's a really pretty drive, a lot of really great views along the way. It follows the lake the, the entire way. And uh, you're gonna, when you get to the end, that's Higgins Point. And that's probably the very best place to, to go watch the Eagles. So when you get to Higgins Point, it's like this big parking lot. And so sometimes people just stay in their cars and, and just watch and see what they can see. And I recommend that, especially if it's icy uh, and especially if it's cold. But if it's not cold, if it's not icy, uh, you can get out of your car, you can go up to the trailhead at, uh, to Higgins Point, And there's usually some good lookout spots along the way to see the eagles kind of swooping in and grabbing fish out of the water. Uh, sometimes if it's clear, you can walk down to the beach from the parking lot and, and get some good views there and see what's going on. Uh, so yeah, just kind of like look around and see what you can see. So after watching the eagles, I decided to go get breakfast. And so I'm gonna go back the way I came from on Coeur d'Alene Lakeview Drive, almost all the way back to Sherman Avenue. And at the corner of Sherman Avenue and Cortland Lakeview Drive, you'll see there a restaurant called Michael D's Eatery. Michael D's Eatery has been around for a long time. They make an amazing breakfast, highly recommended. I like to go there and get their paleo pancakes, uh, eggs, sausage, cup of coffee. It's super good, highly recommended. So after breakfast, I decided I wanted to head back downtown towards the resort, towards our store, and take a walk along the boardwalk. The boardwalk is this really long dock that loops from one side of the Coeur d'Alene Resort out onto the Coeur d'Alene Lake to the other side of the resort and it's just under one mile. It's a really nice walk out onto the lake. Really amazing views. So from the Coeur d'Alene Boardwalk, you get these really good views of like Tubbs Hill, uh, the Tubbs Hill tree, the lake. Uh, it's just a really nice, peaceful, cold and dark experience. <laughs> So as it turns out, I went on the boardwalk when it was kind of icy this morning. Don't go on the boardwalk when it's icy. I got to the end and I see this sign in this gate that's trying to prohibit people from getting on the boardwalk. I didn't know that when I started. <laughs> Anyways, it was icy. Don't recommend the boardwalk if it's icy. So if you find yourself in that situation, you still want to take a walk outside and it's not too icy, uh, a good stroll through City Park along City Beach might be a good alternative. So after I decided I was done being cold, I walked up Sherman Avenue to the corner of Sherman and 3rd Street, which of course is where our store is located in the Plaza Shops. I went into that corner entrance and I wanted to check out what our store looked like. Our store looks amazing this time of year with all the holiday decorations, the ornaments, the beanies. We have more beanies than we've ever had before. All kinds of warm clothing than we've ever had before. It looked great.
From there, I went back out into the hall in the plaza and went over to the annex. The annex is our second store in the plaza shops. This is where we're keeping like all the things that don't fit into our original store. And this is where we're also putting our Coeur d'Alene Kids brand of apparel. The annex is full of gifts and things that really complement our brand. So of course, I recommend Coeur d'Alene Clothing Company as a good end to any adventure you have in Coeur d'Alene. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Hope it was fun. Uh, be sure to put in the comments, what do you guys like to do in Coeur d'Alene in these cold winter months? Uh, what adventures do you like to have and things like that? Uh, put them in the comments below. Uh, like the video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And then we'll see you next time. If I don't see you before then, have a Merry Christmas. We'll... Uh